What's up, you freaking genius dudes? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find maximum and minimum values of quadratic functions, right? Which when you graph a quadratic function, it's just a parabola, right? So we're really just finding max and min values or points of a parabola. So let's start with this one right here. So we have f of x is equal to negative four x squared minus 24 x minus 19. Okay, so the first thing you wanna look at is just this first number right here, this first coefficient that's next to the x squared. So this number tells you if your parabola opens up like that or down like that, right? So if this number is positive, it opens up like that. And if it's negative, like in this case, it opens down like that, okay? So for this problem, we're gonna be looking for a maximum point, right? Because if you think about this parabola, the vertex is right there at the highest point. It's kind of like a roller coaster, right? This is kind of like you're going up and up and up on the roller coaster. And then the tallest point right there is the maximum point. Right, and then you come back down this way, screaming your precious little face off. So since we have a maximum point right there, and we know that the maximum point is at the vertex, all we really have to do is find the vertex, right? So in order to do that, there's two things we have to do. First, we have to find the axis of symmetry, which remember is just a vertical line that runs through the vertex like that, okay? So to find, and I'm just gonna abbreviate, the axis of symmetry, you just need to use this little formula right here. So it's x is equal to negative b over 2a, okay? And you pull these numbers a and b off of your function, right? Because the first number right here is a, and then this second number is b, and then this last number is c, right? So we need to use uh, a, and I'll just label them a, b, and c. Okay, so the axis of symmetry here is gonna be equal to negative b, and b is negative 24, so we're gonna put negative 24 on top, and that's over 2a, and a is negative four. Okay, so then this is equal to negative, negative 24 over two times negative four is negative eight, right? Negative 24 divided by negative eight is positive three. So then this is equal to negative, right? Negative three. Okay, so the axis of symmetry is at x is equal to negative three. And I'll write it over here. X is equal to negative three. Okay, so again, that just means this axis of symmetry right here is at x is equal to negative three. Now to find the vertex, all you need to do is plug in this x value into your function, okay? So we're gonna have f of x, and really I should write it as f of three, right? Because we're plug, or sorry, negative three, because we're plugging in this negative three for x, right? So f of negative three, that's gonna be equal to, let's see, uh, negative four, negative three squared, minus 24 times negative three, minus 19. Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to, let's see, negative three squared is positive nine, and positive nine times negative four is negative 36. And then negative 24 times negative three is positive 72. And then minus 19, uh, 19, there we go. Okay, now negative 36 plus 72, that's equal to positive 36, so 36 minus 19 is equal to positive 17. Okay, cool, so we just found our y value 17, right? So our x was negative three, so that means the vertex is at negative three comma 17. Okay, so I don't have to graph it, but just to be able to visualize this a little bit easier, uh, the vertex is at negative three 17, so we'll just say coming back three and then up 17. So we're gonna say this spot approximately is the vertex, right? And then remember, it's pointing down, right? Since our A number is negative, we know it's gonna point down like that. So then you can see that the maximum point on our parabola slash roller coaster right here is right here, right? At Y is equal to 17, right? So that's your maximum point at Y is equal to 17. All right, let's try one more here. So this is g of x is equal to 1 fifth x squared minus 6x plus 27, right? So the first thing you wanna do is just look at your a number again. So here it's a positive number, right? Positive 1 fifth. So that means our parabola is going to open up like that. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be looking for a minimum point, right? Right here at the vertex. Because again, you can kind of think of this as like a roller coaster. So you're coming down this way and then going back up that way, right? So this spot right here is a minimum. Okay, so just like in the last problem, we just have to figure out what this y value is right there. Okay, and again, we can do that by just the two steps, right? Finding the axis of symmetry and then the vertex. So again, the axis of symmetry is going to be x is equal to, uh, equal to negative b over 2a, right? So then here we're gonna have 
this is going to be equal to negative. Now b in this case is negative 6, right? So we're going to put a negative 6 right there, and that's going to be over 2a, so 2 times a, which is 1 fifth. So 1 fifth right there. All right, so then this is going to be equal to negative, and then simplifying here, we're going to have negative 6 over 2 times 1 fifth is equal to 2 fifths, right? 2 fifths. And now here we're dividing by a fraction, right? So in order to divide by a fraction, all you need to do is multiply by the reciprocal. So that means you're going to take the, whatever you have on the top and just leave it alone. So we have negative 6. And then we're going to multiply that by this bottom fraction, but you just flip it. So instead of 2 over 5, we're going to have 5 over 2, okay? And if you want to turn this into a fraction just to make it a little bit easier to see the multiplication, you can just put it over 1. Okay, so you're just multiplying straight across. On top we have negative 6 times 5, which is negative 30, and that's over 1 times 2, which is 2. And then negative 30 divided by 2 is equal to negative 15. Okay, so then here this is going to be equal to a negative, right, negative, negative 15. And then a negative times a negative is just a positive, so then this is really just equal to positive 15, right? So our axis of symmetry is at x is equal to positive 15. Right? Now, in order to find the vertex again, we just need to plug in this x value into our function right here. So we're going to have g of 15 is equal to, let's see, 1 fifth times x squared. So 1 fifth times 15 squared minus 6 times 15 plus 27. Okay, so then this is going to be equal to, let's see, 1 fifth times uh, 15 squared is equal to 225, so that's 225, minus 6 times 15, which is 90, plus 27. Okay, uh, 225 times 1 fifth, or 225 divided by 5, is equal to 45. So 45 minus 90 plus 27. 45 minus 90 is equal to, and I'm just going to read it over here, negative 45 so negative 45 plus 27 is equal to negative 18, all right? So that's our y value, right? So then the vertex is at 15 comma negative 18. But again, we just need the y value. So we know we have a minimum point at y is equal to negative 18. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.